everybody, and welcome back to the Dowie Talks Expert Series. My guests today are Master Yu Chao Zhang. He's a Santa Barbara-based martial arts instructor who specializes in seven-star praying mantis, wu-style tai chi, and shang-style xing yi, among other arts. And with us also today is Master Yun's assistant, Daniel Nash. Daniel is also a martial artist with 30, degrees, uh, 30 years of experience in martial arts, including um, studying with Master Yun. He's also studied yang-style tai chi and aikido. Uh, thank you for joining me today, guys. Thanks for having me. So I guess the first question I'd like to ask Master Yun is uh, when and where did you begin studying martial arts? I was, uh, was born in China. I started martial arts was six years old. I had my hometown, Shenyang, northeast of the number one city, northeast of China. And so what, what, what was your first art? First are uh, Sam Star Prime Mantis and uh, not an uh, eight no master, uh, uh, Sam Star different style. Yeah. Saolin, Digong, you know Digong style? I've, I've heard of it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, Saolin Mantis. Southern Mantis. No, Saolin Mantis. Oh, Shaolin Mantis, I'm sorry, I apologize. So, um, wh who is your first uh, seven star Mantis teacher? Um, my master. Wang Qingzai. Wang Qingzai, he was a top master in China. Mantis master, yeah. Um, can you explain the difference um, between the seven star praying mantis and the southern style mantis? No, Sony mantis. Shaolin mantis, seven star, I'm sorry. Seven star mantis build and the Sony mantis. Shaolin mantis, okay. Sony mantis is, is, I just went to China last month. I went to China big museum, uh, martial, uh, martial culture museum in Dalian, China. So there I have history article about the. I show you show for Can show some We have all his masters. If you wanna. Yeah, I show, I'd love to see it. Sure. Right. Let's yeah. see if I can do this. Uh, blah, 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 there. So those are. Bill, this is right beside uh, my grandmother. He's a, Let me get that letter. he's a very famous martial arts in China. He was born in Changzhou, you know, Changzhou, Hebei province. Yeah. He's a, also taught the last Qing Dai Nasty Embers. He taught the Amber in Tianjin. Wow. Saudi wow. Mantis, Saudi Mantis, and Yang style Qingping Sword. I can show you after some movement. Sure. This grandmother soon, but that grandmother Wang Yipeng, Samsung master, he's a famous in China. He was born in Shandong. You know Shandong Qingdao? Yeah, Shandong province, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He's very, he named Wang Yipeng, another name Wang Saofei, grandmaster. He's two grandmother of Wang Qingdao, my master teachers. Yeah. I have three pictures, Bill. This is my first mother, Wang Qingzai. I learned Sam Star Per Mantis, Saudi Mantis, and the Di Gong, like the Saudi style from him. This is my second, second uh, civil teacher, my master, Wu Hai Qing. Wu Star, oh, first sorry. generation. Wu Star, first generation. Yeah. I don't think we can see the pictures too well. but uh, I can see. That's the Sam Star. My son style mother Zhang Guoliang. Bill, two mother boss last time a China Fu Kang Tai fighting was 1947. They, they won the top 10, two masters. I'm going to put this down. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, real history. Yeah. yeah. Wang Qingdai mother Zhang Guoliang. Also, last time Yang Hai, two months called me, Yang Hai, he know my son style master. Yeah, yeah. I've heard the name. You have yeah. a you have a, a, a reputation as being very um highly skilled mantis practitioner. I know that you've won a lot of competitions as a mantis yeah. practitioner. Yes. Yeah. I did. Thank you. Yeah, is that is that um when when someone comes to your school, do you allow them to pick whichever art they want to study or do you do you train everyone in mantis first and then branch them out into other arts? How does that work? Bill. I, my sister here, he followed me Daniel a half year. 
I, 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 I learned so many, I know so many styles. Yeah, right? you have many styles, yeah. So many styles. Depends on the people, you know, body, uh, people also, so Mastian usually can see what's a good art for that person. Yeah. So when, when I first met him, I wanted to study Tai and uh, Wu style Tai Chi. So first do some Xing Yi. So I learned Shang style Xing Yi for a while and then moved on to Wu style Tai Chi. But he usually just looks at people and says, this is probably a good art for you to study. Yeah, a lot of teachers do that. That's good. So uh, can I tell a quick story? Uh, oh, yeah, my. absolutely. Please do. How, how I met Master Yun was yes, we had a push hands club in Santa Barbara. And so we used to meet every uh, Sunday afternoon and do push hands. And Master Yun heard about us. Someone He thought we were students of a different teacher in town, and she invited him to join us. And so we were practicing one day. He showed up, and he threw us all around like we were toddlers. And none of us were expecting to get airborne that day. And me and the guy who runs the thing, who's about maybe 60, 70 pounds heavier than me, None of us could move Master Yun, and he sent us on the air. We turned to him and said, we want to be your students. And that was eight years ago. So anyway, I just wanted to, that's how, that's how we met. And I've been following him ever since, and we built a school, and it has grown since then. Yeah, that's the best type of advertising, right? <laughs> you know, when you show somebody what you can do, sell them a yeah. meeting. No discussion. <laughs> right, absolutely. It sells itself. So I, I would like to ask, since we were talking about Tai Chi a little bit, um, you know, at least in this part of the United States, they're there aren't a whole lot of Wu style practitioners, you know, usually you go around America and you see, you know, Yang style, Chen style, things like that. Um, for our audience, could you explain what's different about Wu style Tai Chi as opposed to say Yang style, you know, which is a more popular style? I think uh, Bill, uh, I can let Daniel answer that question. Wu okay. style is smart, also the subtle, right subtle. I did Yang style for about 20 years with CK Chu in New York before I met Master Yun. Wu style is much more subtle. The movements are smaller and much more from core. Um, before we leave, you should have Master Yun demonstrate a little bit of it for you. A little bit of it. I want to say it's more practical because the movements are smaller and it doesn't, it, it doesn't look as big when you move. The movements are closer in and you're more comfortable through all of them. But it's much more about generating power. Um, I don't know if that, you know, for build, it's more about building chi and building whole body connection. You um, also feel, I think that I learned in the follow the master Wu Hai Qi, first, he's the first generation Wu style. He's the generation, he's younger than Sun Lu Tang, but he's the same generation. Because Sun Lu Tang learning the Sun Lu Tang teacher, Hao, Hao Wei Zhen, uh, my master Wu Hai Qi teacher, Ge Fu Lai, they, they both the third generation. Also, my Wu style teacher, Wu Hai Qing, I, I came from East North, China, right? So Wu Hai Qing uh, first uh, bring North East, the Wu style to the North East in China, uh, almost 100 years ago. Wu Hai Qing, this is my teacher, brother-in-law. Name of Ge, uh, Ge Fu Lai, no, uh, Gu Ying He's a skill, very practical also. He come to the North East, uh, He's a top fighter. Not like right now we see Wu style, just talking, movement, push hand, this different feel. More for fighting, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, fighting. Let me ask you a question, Master Yun. When, uh, when Daniel first came to you as a student and wanted to learn Tai Chi, why did you suggest to him that he study Xing Yi first? What, what, what good, did you say? Good question. <laughs> I, I born China, I was learning too much our nice year, 50 years. I was last six year old. But most I knew not the Xing Yi, Pushi Han people in China good. They most backgrounds is Xing Yi background. Mm. Make sense? It does make sense. The, the reason I asked was because my first Xing Yi teacher, I actually went to him to learn Tai Chi and he said, You need Xing Yi. He said <laughs> the same thing. So yeah. How you too? Mm. Your teacher. He said the same, my first teacher, yeah, my first Xing Yi teacher. I, I, I asked him if he could teach me Tai Chi. He said, you need Xing Yi. Yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. I would love to see some of it if you don't mind demonstrating. But since we were talking about Xing Yi, I, I really wanted to ask you about Shang style Xing Yi, because that's, that's something that I think a lot of people in our audience are interested in. And I'm interested in it because I'm a primarily Xing Yi practitioner. Could you could you explain? Could you tell us a little bit about the history of Shang style? Shang Bill, actually, Shang style came from Hebei. 
you know, we know Sun Yunxiang famous, right? Right. Sun Yunxiang famous. But his teacher, Li Chun Yi, yeah. asked the survey style. Right. So Sun Sa, we asked if I have six movements. First, we say ego, this is like a modern movement. And I show you something. Yeah, please. First, we say, this is basically ego, this is a modern movement. So the second one is choppy. This is choppy. Right? Three things, this is this, that one, this is three, so, so we say it's twelve. Right? Fun, mouse, fun, feel. We talk this morning, part, part. We fun, not go to sleep. I shall, we do fun, so this is I learned the sounds are we fun, 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 here. Right. This is fun, also good for kidney. Right. Fighting people, evil people, then you can slide on the ground, the back, I still keep going. That's it. Yes. Now, when we see the play, now bang to China, do bang to this one. We do bang to this one. Bang is here. Bang. Sounds like also connected. This car. Sun Yixiang, famous sound star founder, he has three single movement. First, like Dan Tian Qi Da. Dan Tian Qi Da, this means he can use the garment. Now, when he, now we see now we see people how's the arm. The different. All the powers from the center, from the Dantian. Yeah. Also in the center, center. See, is it Qi Da? Qi Da. Yeah. It's like striking, you know, from the Dantian. Yeah. So we have, we have some sort of six movement, right? We mostly have it like a P, Zhuan, Feng, Pao, Feng. We right. sound, sound, ego, first, modern movement. We also make a trio, this ego movement. So then, first one, second one, choppy. This is choppy. Then try, three minutes, yeah? three minutes. Yeah. Very interesting. It's different. Yeah, yeah different. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and of course, um, you know, he had a he had an uh, a, a reputation as being a good fighter, also, and he uh, I believe he also uh, studied with uh, Gu Yusheng, right? In addition to studying with Li Sun Yi, the founder of Shang Style Shu. Right. Yeah. Who you say yes, yes. Who you say yes, yeah. So Sun Yi Xiang, third. Yeah, third. small man. Yeah. Yeah, power. First, he started follow Li Sun Yi. Li Sun Yi, I did tell Daniel, we're talking about Li Sun Yi, when Sao Pian, don't want to teach you Sun Yi Xiang. Because he was too small. Too small. Yeah. So after three years, Sun Yi Xiang come back and Li Sun Yi, ah. <laughs> You know, so so exciting. This guy be good. Yeah. Also, Sun Yixiang in Xing Yi, very famous. Yeah. Yeah. So no things that you know, I will tell you. My since Sun Sa family tree, my grandmaster name, I saw a lot of people post the internet. My grandmother name is Xin Jian Hou. Do you hear Xin Jian Hou? He was when the 1931. 1931, no seas fighting number one, full contact. That's my grandmaster. Ah. Some grandmaster. So second time in China fight, no seas fighting. Also China, whole China, last time full contact fighting was 1947. 800 people. My skinny family, my master had two grand, two the uncle was, was a street on the top of 10. When the top 10. Wow. Yeah. My mother, Zhang Guoliang, I think last time Yang Hai called me, I said he, he knew my master, Zhang Guoliang, came from uh, Tianjin. Yeah. Or Tianjin went to Shenyang. Also, he brother, Xin Jianhu, grandmother, son, Xin Yanhai. Also, not an uh, uncle, Yang Junxiu. Yang Junxiu also famous top of fighter, Xin If I say, Bill, 100 years ago in China, but all in Shenyang. I was young, with my first mother, Wang Qingzai, because young uh, uncle, Yang Yixiu, always went to my master's home. Because my first mother, Wang Qingzai, met his mother with the grandma, Xin Jianhu, the best friend, like brother. My first mother, Wang Qingzai, also the first man's master, he also was the world top 10, second time visit, was the no season, not 1947 was the top 10. Yeah. They, do, they, they did many style. Also, do Tong Bei. You know Tong Bei? Yeah, Tong Bei. Yeah. Yeah, Tong Bei. Do Tong Bei. Yeah. 
这是冲击力，搓脚，不要搓脚，不搓脚，搓脚，搓脚 also 的，这是搓脚 ，Yeah， America， Yeah， not 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 very common here at all. Yes, but in China, knows the famous, you know. Also famous national treasure, so called in my hometown, Shenyang. You know, do you know Shenyang? Yeah. Yeah. So, do you teach those? Do you teach that as well? Yes. Go, Jiao. Yeah. Shaolin, Di Gong, Di Gong. You know Di Gong, right? Di Gong, this is Di Gong. Do you know? Ah. No. I was young to be born. You know, Bill, I'm 55. I, I was just I was just getting ready to ask you how old you were. 55. That's, that's pretty <laughs> impressive. So who's that I'm talking? Who's that all the car from here? Who's that? Who's that? I, I teach at Chen Sao at the University, UCI, UCSB also. I do Chen Sao. So you, you, you teach Chen Sao as well? Yeah, we, we teach at UCSB, and so we teach Chen style, and we started teaching Wu style, but young people like bigger movement, more flair. So we teach yeah. Chen style, we teach uh, Prime Minister, and uh, it's fun. Wu style, Sato. Yeah. And I, if you ask any woman, they, I told the class this morning, like, he catching me, he here go through this Sato, then. Feel, <laughs> this is, this kind of grab, Tai Chi also grab. This, Tai Chi Nali Sopra. Class Svalo. Svalo. This is Usta. We have fun when he teaches, he shows applications for all the movements, yeah. which is which is a lot of fun. It's usually on me. Like yeah. I do prayer mass and you know, I do prayer mass every time, Tai Chi, every time. This is this is Sopra. You got a you have a rough job, Daniel. That's just, I, I learn a lot, you know. <laughs> That is the best way to learn, actually, by being tossed yeah. around like that. Uh, it can be tough sometimes, though. I know that from experience. Yeah. So, do you think that the um, that the younger students they maybe when they see the Wu style they don't understand quite what it is that they're yeah. looking at, which is why they <laughs> they like the Chen style better. The movements are more dramatic. It's bigger, and you know, as you saw my student do Wu style. It's all it's very subtle. The movements are not, you know, they, they don't make good television. Well, yeah, the Chen style good. looks amazing. And so when the kids, they're doing eight weeks. So for eight weeks, they feel like they've learned something. Yeah. And the guys who really like it can join our school. We've got a few join our school. And we actually, actually took one of the older women who took Chen style. It was too much for her, but she joined our school and started doing Wu style. And she, she's like 80 years old. And right. she told me that um, before she did Wu style, she couldn't put her pants on without holding on to the wall. And now she can do that. And so, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's good for everybody. I mean, she's not right. going to fight a but she's getting a lot of benefit from it. Right, yeah, all Tai Chi is very good for balance. Yeah. yeah. Well, Wu style in particular, you are, you're, all, you're always shifting, you know, from one, one foot to the other. It's right. always full and empty, the, which Yang style, not as much. Yang style had more, you know, you're kind of like holding your weight on both feet. Wu style, you're always shifting. That's when it says, Yin Yang should always be clear. Yin Yang so clear. I shall be on Sama. This is Yin Yang clear. Soft, you can't see it, right? Never put a power in. So the, my Tai Chi teacher always say, I never give information from you. For example, Daniel here, I do here and he know me. Listen, he can, he can feel when I go through. You feel the yeah. you can, yeah. you can. His, the, like when you push on him, the pressure never changes, but he can move his body around what you're doing. So you're saying to never put power in the hand? Is it, right. is it... <laughs> not till he needs to, <laughs> but not, not, yeah, till right, not, till he, not till it's too late, right? <laughs> right. Tai Chi build all the ways to like this bar say, I we do all stuff say, you can back up why I like it. I, 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 uh, risk by deeper risk by so do that, three hours. Even here, you still change the back up for the work. But then, build, you keep it a circle. You keep it a circle. Yeah, that makes sense. Tai Chi is a waste then, not like we see the evil, I, I do young also put a bigger movement, that's different. You know, I went to China last night, just to come back two weeks ago. I visited, I don't want to talk name. I visited now in China, number one top of my chart in Beijing. I visited him, you know, 87 years old, but I don't talk name. 
I have a good relationship with China, national federal government last year, very much. You know, they mm -hmm. very friend with the gentleman. But uh, most like we talking, not like traditional I learning. But we move like we start, still have even here for the this feel this pong that this pong, right? You might have here this this pong that feel still you can use that, right? <laughs> You don't want to be watching, you don't want to use go, then I don't want. Yeah. This is like never lost. Right, yeah. <laughs> also, I do so many stuff. Some of the anyway, teacher told me also, you put it here, still use the, still have art. Like, you know, Tom Bay, still keep it. Tai Chi not only soft, feel, not soft. Outside soft, the inside like needle. Top any match or top a patch, you know, say, say, me keep that. Take any mind. Not only fast, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I all, almost 50 years I'll do traditional. Like I do find, you know, find the chair, find it. Yeah, find it, find it yeah. Find it. I, also, I do, I do so many stuff. Yeah, you do do a lot of styles. Yeah, that's also another style that's not very common in the United States. Yeah, yeah, right. A lot of the stuff he does, it's not it's not big and dramatic, but it's got a punch and a kick at the same time, and and, and that moves the setup to the next thing he wants to do to you. So yeah. you, you, it's too fast to respond, and he's waiting for you to do whatever you can because that's the, that's the the throw he's waiting for. Yeah. So then he just it would never, every now and then someone will sort of playfully challenge him, and it, it lasts three seconds. And, um, yeah, I imagine so. Yeah. yeah. So well, because you, you do teach a lot of styles that are, are relatively rare in, in the United States, do you travel a lot these days and, and teach? Do you give seminars in other places? Or are you mainly? Uh, I, uh, I was young. I first went to outside China. It was 1992. I went to Rasa, Moscow. Yeah. Two years in Moscow, yeah. Yeah, I saw that you won a, you won a championship in Moscow, right? Was yeah, it yeah. for for sword? Yeah, went to Japan. I think we went to South Africa. Yes. So now came to America over twenty years. I'm a martial arts martial art people immigrants come here martial arts. You know, like huh? Where are you live, Bill? I'm I'm in Kentucky right now. So oh. in, in, in the Midwest, South sort of. Yeah. Then you came from New York. Yeah, New York. New York. Yeah. Um. You, you just don't. Uh, Generally, in this part of the country, you you, you see, I, I I've never even met someone that uh, practices Fonzo Twin, you know, or Tom. Yes. That, that you know, yeah. Yeah. You, you you know, a lot of people they don't know. Yeah, they don't find this for job. Education yeah. is one of the things we're working on. Right. People they don't know what this stuff is, and most of the arts that are in the West came through Hong Kong, and so they they tend to be big and more presentational. Right. Right. Yeah. We have an educational problem as well as explaining to people this was this is where they you know they came from northern China. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of misconceptions about the different styles of martial arts. I know that when I was a kid growing up, you know, they always had a saying um, you know, uh northern legs and, and southern hands, you know, uh <laughs> like I mean that all this this the styles from the south like were like Wing Chun that were more, you know, uh fist based and in the styles from the north were more you know, high kicks and things like that. But, you know, a lot of your Northern styles are styles like, you know, Shingi and, and you know, and uh, Bagua on things that, that do very much focus on the, on the handwork, so to speak. So a lot of misperceptions that are just slowly, slowly being cleared up, I think. But it's good you're trying to educate people about that. Can you talk a little bit about the weapons work that you do, Master Yun? I know that you- what, like a, Right. I, I, uh... You see the weapon, right? Uh, you, you, you <laughs> sword, right here. I would love to see the Qingping Jin. Yeah. Yeah. Qingping sword is amazing. Right. Yeah, I would love to see it. I don't know. Qingping has a thousand years history. Do you know that? No. Could you tell us about it? Qingping is a traditional, with China, Chinese people, even martial arts people, you know, traditional type of form of sword from Qingping is number one. So, first, I show some movement. Movement Qingping, then I, I show with Daniel with some other cases. You know? Okay. The word, right, it means the first one. So the Qingping is sort of evil here. Uh, 
Okay, let's show some question. Right? You use that. Real short. So we did the wooden ones. Huh? The, the wooden ones. Right. So it's down. Which one? Yeah. Yeah, those. You think? I'm the one that's going to get hit. You can ask that like, Qingbin, what about them? Qingbin, so, so there's not a lot of, there's no blocks. He moves around everything I do. Right. You nice, that? Uh, like he goes straight, uh, he's trying to get this right thing, right? And not like, he goes straight, but then he doesn't get the last one. Sorry, okay, okay. Right, yeah, so, sorry. so for the right, you know, you kind of need here. You go, oh, they find a guy, bro. You know? Qingbin never waste tea, I see him, right? I don't want to talk to this one, bro. Yeah. Never. Yeah. I use the photo even today, it's a good thing, huh? You see, finish. My first mother wanting that, her mother wanting that, I just last night sent to China, sent to Beijing some article. It was when the second time no seas fighting was 1947. He, he do sort of PR battle. PR battle, he's number one. Just thinking. Qingping, just like you see, two small mountain, huh? yep, famous. It's always like the shortest distance. I, I used to do Japanese Iaido, but the movements are big. These movements are very, very small. He, he, for example, he kind of, we move now. Huh? First, my child is some movement. I have it today. First, there's a Qingping high forefront. For example, Qing, he kind of leave off right here. Deal, he can not leave famous now. Look up. I sign you up the next one. He can't go. Go up to my head. He go here. Yeah. You see the move also. So you always your 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 cut moves to the next cut immediately. Yeah, everything's a setup. You know. Also, he hands the cut here. Slow motion. This is my hand. My hand. Right. Okay. This is famous. You know, I cut it here. Yeah. Then he can't go. Go here. I show another. My mother was amazing movement in the 1947. Somebody cut it, he go to the outside. Put it here, My mother cut the guy was 1947. I don't want to talk name also. Very tough, my watching that mother number one. He now got out the cut many years in the Oh, he wow. told me that in the, in the, it was in the tournament and the judge, didn't see that Wan Ching Zai hit the other guy's hand. And the judge like, look, you know, maybe the fix was in. But so that was the next move. And Wan Ching Zai hit his leg and then dropped the sword. So did you see that? And my mother, my, my mother put away the arm. I said, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. <laughs> you saw a move and now we're like, we see people, yeah, America. You can see the people now. Now. Just a fine move and Ching Ping to finish. You see, like small balls, you know, this, this yeah. thing. You cut it, go up, you can feel this line, huh? this foot to work. Feel you like martial art, like I said, you te your teacher taught you learn Qing Any martial art, I taught them, you taught my skill then. Like. Chinese martial art, when pay ball, when foot work, when foot work, when foot work, when pay ball, so when foot work. Yeah. You like a long paper, long paper, you turn my side also, okay? Change it from here, it's still people. You don't need to go back. You should show me some um, music. Oh, they don't Okay. Yeah. I was a long time in Aspen. Then you're a real story. You could, 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 Karate guy. Karate guy. Black was 19 car in 1970. So he asked me, I was a teacher asked me. One day he a long time he come. He moved and I just let use the footwork to be able to his face. Just the footwork. Guy was bleeding. Did you break his nose? Or? Yeah. And, uh, but then he called him up and thanked him. <laughs> Oh, but, okay. I, I, I started, the story I heard was that the guy told him all Chinese martial arts are bullshit. Oh, I see. Yeah. And he said, yeah. yeah. He, he, well, and, but he found out otherwise. <laughs> but he, that time, yeah, that is it, right? Like, you know, uh, Joe Casino was the teacher of Joe Casino, um, right? Joe Castillo. Right. Yeah. He, he made that, he, that guy, half student, me. Because that guy started with me. 
he has Judy ask them, Joe, good fighter. But he always make people want that. Joe wanted to see what happened when these two got together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I also yeah. say that, you know, mind me, he said, all Chinese martial arts bullshit in this country. But Joe Tao Ken, Tao Ken, Jim said, you tell not. He said, no. <laughs> so hey, after outside, he asked me, outside mountain, just outside restaurant, outside touch again. You move and feel just wait for a Just changed his mind. Yeah. Also, you're talking per man. This is this is this is starting stuff per man. It's your movement, huh? So he manages the real song, man. This is all song, man. Per time stuff, man. This is all per time stuff, per man. Hands in the air, all fast, fast, fast. This time stuff. Every time per man is like, then you follow me. We move and be on fetching, be mm -hmm. on fire move since finish. And also, it's not a spot. It's a joke. I think you couldn't see it as well in that, but Shaolin is more, more gun. It's yeah. more. There's a whole lot. Yeah. It, seven, seven Star has a lot more softness to it. He'll, he'll go around you very softly and then, then go hard. So it, it feels a little more, more complicated, more subtle. They have a sofa, Bill. You see the sofa, the sofa. They don't have that. Right, Bill? This is not my head in here. Also, Bill. <laughs> That's a very cool. <laughs> you know what? It's I, fun to study here. I'm just saying. It's a really fun place to learn. It looks like a great place to learn. I, I, I imagine that a lot of the, your students that come to you to learn Praying Mantis are pretty surprised by how direct it is, how direct real Praying Mantis is, because, you know, a lot of people, again, in the United States, you know, they see movies, you know, old, old, old Kung Fu movies, where it's very stylized, more like a Wushu version, you know, of Praying Mantis, as opposed, yeah, yeah, yeah. as opposed. <laughs> people don't believe until they come here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, sometimes like Master, you saw him grab my hand, you grab your hand and you can't move. Yeah. And he had, I remember we had a, a Taekwondo guy that's really tall. And he, he came in and one and he just you know, like when one move, Master just grabbed his hand and held it. Can we come studio? Yeah. Three years of you, big guy. <laughs> and he, he, he couldn't move. <laughs> because we do so far, people show us and touching our so far also people this is this hand also occupied. Ah, that works. <laughs> yeah. I used to that feel, I show you watching. Feel, we have this one. This is three finger. It's a shot put. Feel. Oh, I see. This three finger do that. We do, well, I put a boost down also. Three finger. To listen to training, we do this one also. For Chin Na. Na Chin Na. Chinese martial art feel, to listen to the way I, Tan Chin Kaga join Lark of ISB. Join like a talking Tan Chin part. He punching me. This also a Nah. Bill, this is Nah. So who's like, why is that go find some Kaga same stuff? Well, no, I am all side out. Most Tai Chi people don't understand the application degree. You know, at least the schools I've been to, they tended to just focus on the form without. Now it's going to show how all the movements of form, there's applications hidden all through it. Because yeah. I do this, this is slow, but he can do your side hand. Yeah? Yeah. So far, hey, here, he can. That's all called, lots of people call. Just children. I was, was lucky, three mother, to like I say, Bill, one thing I mother, Zhang Wuliang, half a fighter, in China, in the martial history. Yeah. Now that right now in China, people, you can't find those people. You know, so I was lucky. Yeah, you know, that old generation kind of passed by, unfortunately. Um, Daniel, let me ask you a question. Because okay. you're because you're an Aikido, you're an Aikido practitioner. I studied Aikido for a long time myself when I was younger. Okay. Did studying with Master Yoon really open your eyes up to the applications um, in uh, Aikido? May, did you find some things that maybe were missing in your Aikido practice? Because a lot of the joint locks, that are, uh, you know, in Tai Chi are the same as in Aikido and uh, Bagua also. Um, I, yeah, I I find them very different. Just a very different emphasis. Aikido, I found, and this is probably just failing on my part, when I started doing Tai Chi in New York, we did a lot of sparring. And I found it difficult to actually throw an Aikido lock on someone 
they tended not to commit enough. as like we didn't practice. Huh. Masculine stuff, he does chin up, but I, I, I never have to help. I never have to like, okay, now you, you, it, it doesn't involve my being part of the pra the, 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 the practice. Um, I like the keto a lot. It's a little hard on your body. Um, yeah. I'm 61 now, and I, I found I started having some knee problems. Yeah. And that was kind of when I started, started doing more Tai Chi, less Tai Keto. And now I'm Nasturian. You saw all the things he's doing. I can barely, you know, I got enough to work on us. So I don't practice Aikido anymore. Right. I I yeah, I feel I feel like, you know, I know that when I started studying Bagua, I, I saw what um, I try to find the way to phrase this the best way. I think maybe some of the older style Aikido or Aiki Jiu Jitsu practitioners were practicing something that was more akin to traditional Tai Chi or Bagua. In other words, there was like less commitment and cooperation going on. Uh, and more of the actual, the real stuff, I guess, is what I'm trying to yeah. say. Well, I, I came from a pretty rough school. I had my arm broken twice. It was very, yeah. like, sensei, sensei was the uh, uh, deshi with the founder, and my sensei was a deshi with him. So it was very it was very traditional training. It was great when I was 28. Yeah. And, you know, going every day and stuff. And, you know, as I got older, got a life and a job and a family, it was hard to put that, that kind of practice in. And yeah. I do find the emphasis different than in Aikido. And, you know, my, I say master and stuff, it it's uses the whole body, but it's it's tighter. It's more it's more subtle and the movements are are small, but he still has a sort of whole body connection that the good Aikido people have. Yeah. And, and he has a lot of techniques that like I say, I don't have to be involved in. All of his chin on is in, in his what they call sofa, hand techniques. They don't require my cooperation in any way. But, so, so for example, my hands are like you join join lock, right? I feel this lock. Why yeah. well, he never lock? Look at my shoulder never. Well, so, uh, for example, yeah. uh, uh, Aikido uh, Sankyo, right? Do this, I can do this. This is lock. I don't have to. Feel, I don't have to. He can't go. I'm pushing hard. He can. I don't have to in any way. And I was a knee down. I did Aikido for a long time. Normal people, that would I would I would have control of. Right. No, that was he said that came from Wusta. From Wusta. One of the things like well, this is real. This is not a. Yeah. He saw that we had a person, don't call him name, yeah. 300 pounds, right? There's a guy who was an international push hands champ, more than 300 pounds. There's a video floating around on Facebook of him doing it, and Mastin just shoves him around. I and, just posted uh, about you. <laughs> we were uh, at a seminar in um, Albuquerque. Uh, yeah. In Albuquerque, and, and Mastin was a judge, and this guy came up, he's a really nice guy, but he was like, he wanted to show push hands, demonstrate something to his student. And I think he maybe thought he'd push Mastin around a little, he was the new judge, and he couldn't move. And the, the guy's like a mountain, and he's shoving it nasty and finally he turned to the student and said, do it like that. And, um, yeah, that's funny. The contest, and you, you shoved the, the guy around. That's very impressive. Uh, so how many students do you have currently, would you say? It depends. Sometimes they come wrong, right? Like in summer, now they all went to the cases. Right, yeah. yeah. They have younger students, six-year-old. Oh, all, you all the guys you know, are 80, 85 years old. You know, yeah. Yeah. What what percentage of your student population would you say is Xingyi students? Do you have many Xingyi students? I think uh, right is pretty much is Xingyi more, right? Yeah. yeah. Also now uh, I was uh, uh, last year I was a teacher Tongbei. Tongbei they do Tongbei Arabic. Yeah. Also I Tongbei Arabic much are in through the you know shoulder. Yeah. Not only the internal martial art. I think also good for internal martial art. You know the Tongbei? Tongbei yeah. also really make a lot of top fighter in Chinese uh, yeah. history. Yeah, it's very Tongbei, impressive. Yeah, Xingyi, a lot of people. Yeah, I've, I've heard that some some of the older Xingyi teachers also used to use Tongbei to help teach their Xingyi students of, of power generation. Yes, so, yeah, well, they're right. everybody's shoulders, particularly in the West, everybody sits at yeah, work all day. Like, and and, and Tong, Tongbei is very good for that. Now, Shen says the Tongbei people in China never had shoulder problems. I believe that. I never thought about it from a health aspect. It's really interesting. That's another martial art that, you know, we, we don't really get a chance to practice here. So that's good that you teach that. Uh, to comment on Aikido, I found Aikido versus the Chinese martial arts. Chinese martial arts have much more emphasis on being healthy, get everything in alignment right and making power that way. Aikido is more like train until you bleed. And I, 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 as older person, I'm, I'm liking the... It's just as effective, but it, it's much more focused on health. 
Yeah, I would have to agree. Yeah, I would have to agree. And I, I did uh, Japanese arts for a long time, and I appreciate Japanese arts. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, That's making sad. a negative comment. I did kendo and aikido and judo and things like that, but they are very hard on the body. And I, and I think it's a philosophical type thing and also a cultural thing where it's sort of like the, the attitude was more about, you know, you just train until you, you die no matter what. Whereas the Chinese arts are more like, yes, you need to learn how to fight, but you also need to have longevity in order to, you know, get to the point where you can fight effectively. We, we also, the Chinese martial arts follows like, like the philosophy, gang yu, right? Some build gun, like some saw, so you can see, right? Also, a lot of, lot of like, a, what is it? Hands like knee, you know, not so far. We say so far, too far, you know. Yeah. A lot more intricate hand and foot techniques. Yeah, for sure. Stuff. for sure. And they're hard to do if you don't have the full body integration. Like, you know, masculine can show me stuff. I can't do it. I can walk around with my hands and feet in the same place, but the other person doesn't fall down like they do if masculine does it. And that that's just takes years of practice. Yeah, yeah, it's an involvement for sure. So, um, I guess we're we're running close to being out of time. Is there is, is there anything that you would like to promote? Do you have any seminars coming up or anything of that nature? Feel right. Thank you. Sometimes we do the similar like Herman Madison, also Tom Bay. We did the show job, but like you like feel like your side American. Most people they don't know Tong Bei Chuo Jiao Fan, right? Yeah, yeah. So if I do, I do pair medicine. Uh, two time international champions, Sam Sarper medicine. I I meant it's different than we saw the young American in Hong Kong. That's different. Yeah. You <laughs> check, but I don't want to say that. If, then you know the big deal. So you know, if people are interested, come to Santa Barbara. We can we can you know we can set things up, and also we're thinking about setting up some uh, online stuff as well. Yeah, that would be great, you know, so people could reach you. Yeah. I know I would like to see something like that myself. Well, we can work on that. We were just yeah. this, this morning, actually, one of our guys is a mixed video. So we were talking about um, maybe how to set up doing an online class. You know, in some of these arts that, like, if you want to learn Fonzie Chuan and you're in Kentucky, yeah, there's not a lot of options. But no. we can maybe set up some programs like that. Yeah, I think that that would be really popular. I think people would seek that out. It seems to be that's that's the way it's going in a lot of places because a lot of people just don't have access to that sort of thing. Right. Um, we talked a little bit about the education aspect of it. And we talked a little bit about the health aspect. Um, Master Yun, uh -huh. where, where do you where do you what did you see as the future of the traditional arts? Where do you see these arts going in the future? What do they have to offer people now? <laughs> That's very fast now. <laughs> Hard to say. I went to China. Then you like follow me almost a half year in my city. And I come back, I they have a lot of talk about that. Like this time I went to China, went to Beijing, went to I met the China former national martial arts president, right? Control China. Most of they talking that China like art, they also do Musu. They all do Musu. They Musu like we know no application. Right. You know, harder, it's harder, like, it's, uh, uh, very hard to find a real martial arts tradition in China. Very hard. You know, I can't like, say whole China. Already, then, you know, we chat, you know, how China really sent to me, they talking. Also, I, my mind my, my, my open. I have three master. I have different style martial arts friends. I never taught any of my student on the Xing Yi good. Any, any style feel good. They have different skill, right? right? They follow the different. So I think folks is now it's harder, harder to find real martial arts in China to listen to. Also, I taught people about teaching inside not in Guru Lai, I was learning like application, make a whole whole body, whole body, you know, this is hard, hard to find people there. You know? I worry that some of these arts are getting lost. And it's one of the reasons I'm here and I want to get better at it and I want to help promote this. So I think these things are really beautiful and they will get diluted and lose the, the power that they have. So I'm, 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 I'm thankful for you for promoting this. I think what you guys do is great. And I want these arts to continue and people to be aware of. Like, Phil, uh, one more thing about that, you know, he might have people come here like a uh, Tommy, right? Rocky guy. Yeah. Like a uh, K-Boss famous in America, all the gentlemen. 
they, I was touching they, those people hand. Those people say the word, never see Chinese people like me. Yeah. Then you knew that, right? I not only fast, I have power. Every time finish, I change it fast, right? Not only this is hard. You like say we say gang yu, gang yu xiang ji, right? Not only gang fast, not only power, also have soft power. Yeah. I think also the majority of people know harder, like I, last year, 50 years now. Daniel, this morning time, I said, I can do 30 minutes of hard stand I was young, not healing. People know me, everybody know. 30 minutes I can do this, but not changing. I can't do that. You know, now in China, my, my daughter found me. They can, two minutes enough, right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a Tongsi Bong? Yeah. yeah. The names for the people who started Kung Fu when they were moving. People know that. Hard. Yeah. Also, China people don't have time, right? Hard to find a real teacher. Also, people, you know, countryside better. I came from city, big city. Hard to find people. What working hard? Yeah. Different. We're we're our goal is to promote this stuff. We don't want we don't want the traditional arts to die. Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, I think that's why we're here. We're trying to promote these and make people aware of them. And you know, the I've seen movies of both of, of his teachers all when they're elderly and they're in amazing shape. His, his, well, Wang Qingdai was like healthiest, 100 healthiest guys in China. Yeah, my friend Wang Qingdai, 1980, is you can show the picture. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> one more picture. Oh, yeah, please. And uh, ah, this picture is over here. Ah. Okay. Bill, this was 1982. Did you see? Yeah. Good. This is China leader, prison leader. I don't want to say name, right? All the top of martial my, my first master was there, Wang Qingdai into there. All the like Sulu Tang daughter there. Uh, Wang yeah. Lai also famous, Wang Lai top fighter, yeah. master Wang Lai good martial art was there. Li Ziming, Ba Gua, Li Ziming over there. Ba Gua. Yeah. Oh, wow. All top people. Also, this time I bring China. <laughs> my first master, uh, this master is in the Liaoning province, this treasure. City yeah. state treasure, Monday. First of all, name, Wang Qingzai, you know? And they made, they made yeah. for him. Yeah. Wow. That was in 1982. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that that one just now was oh. like last week. This, oh, this was. 1982, yes. In that Beijing. photo, yeah. Those, last time, Bill had a real, easy find a real master. Different style. But I, Bill, I came from China. Hard, like a lot of time, Yang Hai called me also say, hard to find a thing. Yang Hai, I don't know Yang Hai, he called the, how, how the studio, how the little bit, he said, hard to find people. Like he said, you see songs are good, hard to find people. I say, I continue three master build all the traditional. I, ne I never have my style. Then you know, I never, those, those, those master style. I just yeah. continue, not change. Yeah, so I mean, it, it, it sounds to me like, and, and it's it's apparent to me also that, that the future of the arts is sort of in the West now, because, you know, we have people like yourself and, and Yang Hai and, and you know, uh, teachers of that caliber here. We're very fortunate to have people like you here. Um, so we appreciate what you're doing to try to promote the arts, because that's what we're trying to do, too. Great. I think it's, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing. Yeah. So can you tell people where they can find you at? As far um, as you so yeah, so the easiest is our website, which is www.masteryun.com. And if you go on Facebook, Master Yun Traditional Tai Chi and Kung Fu, every week he posts another video. And you don't even, it's a public thing. You don't have to be on, on, you don't have to have a Facebook account. But if you want to see the videos, that's every week he posts another one. Oh, Bill, how many from I know? Like, like 200 forms. And, <laughs> it's, um, and we're in Santa Barbara, which is lovely. And... Uh, you know, it's about to be rained on, which is wonderful also. But, uh, you know, we, we're we trying to promote these arts that are not very well known in, in the United States. And if people are interested, contact us. We can find ways to do seminars if people are curious, and we can do things here. That would be fantastic. Well, M Master Yun, Daniel, thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, can you thank stick you. with me? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully, see you in Santa Barbara. Yeah. <laughs>